Good morning, Anne Murphy here, the blogpreneur, the blog coach. How are you? Uh, welcome to another weekly live Q&A. Um, today I want to talk about the top three things you should be focusing on in your blog or turning your blog into an online business. Uh, there's always so much to do and there's always so much to learn. You just think you've got it all and you think, oh, You've, you've heard something that someone else has suggested that you do. So you take it on board and then you soon become overwhelmed. But these are my top three things that I believe um, that you should focus on as a priority. And if you get these things working um, well, well, then the other things are just secondary and you can work on them when you do have time. So the number one thing that I believe um, you should focus on whether you're brand new or you've been doing this for a while and you're ready to take your blog to the next level and turn it into a, um, an online profitable business, and that's your email opt-in. So it needs to have a catchy name. It needs to be an irresistible offer that people just can't resist not signing up to. I'm not talking about subscribe to my newsletter, subscribe to my blog. I'm talking about something that's a viable irresistible offer that is solving a problem so if your blog or website is about a whole bunch of different things like family recipes food organizing or a couple of different things um, health and fitness it needs to be an overarching email opt-in that covers all of those things so um, for example when you're thinking about your um, target market if you're a, a, a lifestyle blogger or a, a mummy blogger and your um, target market is um, other mums think about the things that are going to help solve their number one problem and speaking from my own personal experience uh, it's about being organized it's about you know being productive and and how to how to juggle um, everything in your life so that could be something if you're a health and fitness coach or um, you want to become a health and fitness coach and your blog is all about health and fitness, something that um, people struggle with, you know, how to get motivated. Um, that's one of the biggest things for people who are starting their um, healthy um, journey, their journey to a healthier lifestyle. Think about the, your target market's biggest pain point and put that in an email opt-in. Now it can be a um, ebook, it can be a checklist, it can be um, a series of videos, it can be one video, um, whatever you like, whatever is going to be short and quick that people can consume easily and they get on your email list. Now social media is, is great, it's great for nurturing that grow like and trust factor that people can get to know you. And you can use it to drive traffic back to your website. But once you get people on an email list, this is yours to own. This information is yours to own. It's your customer database. Even if the email, if the company that you're um, using to uh, use for your email subscribers goes kaput, you've still got that data. You can download it before the company goes bust. It's yours to own. So it's very, very important. You also get your subscribers into a nurturing email sequence and during that time you can get um, tell people more about you so that they get to know you. You can be up close and personal to them and you can um, send them back to your website for other offers, um, for more information, some of your best performing posts, um, get them into some of your workshops or um, sell, selling some of your products. So that is my number one thing. Focus on your email marketing and your email opt-in on your website. And even if you're brand new, even if you've got one blog post, get that right. And then that will set you up for light. I've had the same one now for 11 years. And every day I still get tens, if not hundreds of people signing up to my email opt-ins. And it just, it's just such a positive, it has such a positive ongoing effect for my business and growing my business so the number two thing that I think you should focus on whether you're um, or especially if you're a blogger or an online business owner who wants to grow your business and that is to make your website easy to navigate 
you have all these people coming to your website whether it's from google or pinterest or social media they get there they don't know where to go they don't know where your offers are they don't know how to um you know what do you do how can you help them and they probably don't stay very long but if you can have the perfect landing page which is your home page to direct people to um, you're one step ahead of the game make all the information that in, you've got control of where you want people to go if you want them to see your um, your offers if you want them to see your top performing posts if you want them to see your posts that have your best selling affiliate products in if you want them to sign up to an email opt-in you, you need to be able to control where you want your visitors to go so having a website that's easy to navigate is my number two point. The number three point, of course, um, is uh, SEO. And I'm not just talking about SEO in your blog posts. I'm talking about um, search engine optimization for your entire website. And this in particular um, includes your home page because if you haven't optimized your home page, uh, no one's going to find you on um google either so if you're a local business you know you need to put in there your um, location so people can um, find you google my business is perfect for that it's a free tool from google if you're a local um like if you're serving locally in, in a location but if you're an online business in particular you need to have um, whatever people are searching for if they're looking for a health coach that needs to be um, on your home page and in your h1 header if you're a business coach if you're a, um, uh, a mummy if you're a mum who likes to organize if you're a um, an artist a, a poet a, a meditation guru whatever it is that people might be searching for those keywords need to be on your home page and need to be in your h1 tag on your home page and all the other pages on your website as well as uh, your blog post so be sure to optimize your entire website not just the blog posts so above all of that my still my number one um, piece of advice uh, to turn your blog into a profitable business and to grow your business is to plan to plan all these things if you feel like your uh, email opt-in isn't working for you sit down and plan make that your number one priority number two priority check your website navigation look at it from um, a different perspective or, or get one of your friends to look at it and find um, you know can they find all the information and are they going to the places where you need them to go and number three um, on page optimization that's your home page all your pages all the products in your store all your programs um, everything needs to be optimized on your website so I can help you with all of that I can help you plan I can help you um, with all of the step-by-step -step, uh, processes that go uh, in that are involved in all of that and come up with ideas even if you want to book a free 30-minute advice session with me just to go over any of those points I can help you with them straight away and get you started and even work on a plan for you so that's my advice for you this week I hope you have a lovely week and I'll be back next Monday for another weekly live Q&A. See you soon. Bye.